Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, Marco Collective Gamer 77 here, and today we'll do an overview and unboxing of the Limited Run Games Neo Geo Pocket Volume Selection 1 Physical Edition, along with comparison to the Pix and Love versions. As you can see here, it's a slipcase and slightly large uh, packaging for the Limited Run Neo Geo Pocket versions. I have taken the slipcase off and slowly opening this up. It's very similar, of course, to the USA versions of how the games were released way back when in the late 90s. As you can see there, you've got the game physically, a still seal, the steel book there, not too shabby, still miss having a manual, of course no manual inside, I wish they had printed one out. And then one of the biggest differences that you'll be seeing here is actually going to be the bottom portion which is actually this book and I'll go over this in more detail in the other section when I compare it to the Pix and Love versions but I do like it it's got quite a bit uh, I think it's 114 115 pages I believe uh, basically anywhere between four to five four to six pages per game so pretty well done a lot of clean graphics looks very nice and very well done the uh, print itself is on great high quality paper. It is a good quality and if you can find it, recommend picking it up. And we here we've got the unfolded poster that comes with the LRG version, both front and back. This is the back end. And here is the front. Again, the only negative is that it does have fold marks. Next up is a quick shot of the Pix and Love version uh, of the Neo Geo Pocket Volume Selection 1 that was of course overviewed in one of my other videos. It does lim It is limited to 1,500 copies, but it is still fortunately available from Pix and Love website from France if you did want to pick it up. The one piece that is hard to get now is this vinyl edition. So this is the SNK versions, uh, 300 copies each for both the SNK and Capcom. I am currently waiting for these, and most likely when they arrive, I will not be opening them up. While it does not have game manuals for each of the 10 games, it does have 10 inserts and acrylic figures for all the characters. Hello everyone, so this is going to be a uh, overview of both editions. As you can see here, the packaging size is definitely very different. And you do get different items uh, that, depending on the type of collector or what you're looking for for your collection, one would be better than the other. Of course, the more I most ideal situation is to have elements of both, but unfortunately you can't do that without actually having to buy both. Um, both are great additions, um, but they are kind of different in what they offer. Uh, as you can see here with the packaging, uh, the limited run games version is definitely more like a larger size of the old classic Neo Geo Pocket um, USA versions whereas this one of course is more of a standard kind of a collection gift box but it contains one piece that I really like but missing another piece that the LRG limited run games version has so in that respect I am a little torn but I'm glad I do have both so with that uh, we'll go back to a little bit of unboxing and an overview so we'll go ahead and slide this off here from the top Unfortunately, I'm doing this one-handed, so it's not going to be quite as, um, actually, it's actually pretty lodged in there. There we go. And as you can see from my previous uh, overview of the Neo Geo Pocket Pix and Love version, it does come with a lot, a lot of goodies. Um, one of the main pieces that I really love is the classic reproduction of the Japanese, possibly in Europe. I can't remember if this was available in Europe, but I do know I had the Match the Millennium version of this in hard plastic, what I wish I never let go. And I do love the fact that if you're also a Neo Geo pocket collector, it gives you a spot for your Switch cartridge for the Volume 1 and also a spot for the actual Neo Geo pocket cartridge of your favorite game. Of course, there's no way you can fit 12, so you could probably rotate it if you wanted to. Uh, one version I did pick up as well from Pix and Love is the vinyl version. I both picked up, I picked up the SNK along with the Capcom version, but those are still in production. I do, of course, also still get the standard Switch case for the physical edition. 
Uh, you do get a small kind of a mini size art book. And this was actually really good when I got it. Um, but in comparison to what you get with Limited Run Games, Limited Run Games does have a better book. Uh, this one is a little bit more concise. Um, pages per each game, you get, of course, the picture of the original packaging. You also get the little screenshot here, some specs, and then some of the characters, along with uh, different little cute pictures and, that they've captured. But beyond that, there isn't really much of a, a write-up. So it's kind of a, a cute little visual overview. Uh, but still, very good collection. Next, you've got, for every one of the games that's included in the Volume 1 selection, you do get, of course, art cards. I'm not going to go ahead and go through all 12. That is actually on my overview video. So that is what you get with the Picks and Love collector's edition you can of course still pick it up i uh, did see that it's still available i think they had 1500 or 1800 copies overall um, of course you can also pick it up just the physical edition like this as well through picks and love uh, depending where you're from that might be a, a better deal um, as now the limited run games version for the neo geo pocket is now sold out as they of course pre-order and, and ship them the batches but it was available for quite a few months so unfortunately now you can only pick it up in limited amounts the portion here of course you can see is a slip case and here we go here with this cover flipping it up and here is the poster which i'll send some pictures to uh, on the next part of the video you do of course still get the physical version of the game i'm keeping this one of course shrink wrapped you do get a nice steel book. So for those that collect steel books, I know one of my friends actually collects steel books of all, for all of his games, and likes to display them. Um, as you can see, pretty nice. Uh, but for classic collectors, especially for fans of the Neo Geo Pocket, I would say that more than likely they would gravitate towards this kind of a hard case more. Um, but you know, I can't go wrong with either one. The steel book is still nicely done and embossed, and it's got, of course. All the games on there and underneath that is the one piece that i think i really really love about the limited run games collection um, unfortunately as i mentioned you can only get us now on third party collector um, as far as third party resellers which is unfortunate uh, because this is actually i think an awesome book uh, this collection is definitely a bit more sorry i should say a bit more i should say it's actually a lot more information that goes to with each game each game has a, at least four to about six pages um here we're looking at king of fighters r2 got a good little preface there i'm gonna kind of switch this over here and even more so background information some screenshots from the game itself more information screenshots actual kind of a release the back piece packaging and pictures you got a character roster anything that's unlockable is kind of informed there and then it goes to kind of a little more preface on some of the pieces like king of fighters 98 and then it goes to the next game so really with each game this is of course for each game in the collection they actually go through this um, of course, the variety of, as far as the number of pages for each game, is a little different. So they don't go with that for that, that involved for every game. But they do have a good summary. And so, for example, I'm trying not to get these pages pinched. Uh, it's a little difficult here, but come on. Bear with me. There we go. Next one is Fail Fury First Contact. Again, a good preface page. Gives you the release date. The genre, pretty straightforward. It is a fighting game. Some more read-through. Shots of the game. Secret arts. Some shots here. Again, you've got the character list slash roster. Anything that's unlockable. Fail Fury First Contact. Shots of the packaging, the back. Manual, that's another thing I do miss is having manuals with these games. And then kind of the related games, Real About Fail Theory 2, which you can't pick up 
on, of course, the Switch eShop, and then go to the next game. So again, this is a wealth of knowledge, especially if you are a fan of, of the Neo Geo, especially the pocket games. So for me, the thing that really stands out the most that makes me want one over the other um, in regards to kind of history buff or just collection, this book I think is completely worth it for this collection. Um, physical wise, um, for me, what really stands out the most again is this case uh, again it's a, a small thing but for me that really speaks volumes the kind of little mini art book that comes with the picks and love version is nice but it's definitely more of like a coffee table flip look at the pictures kind of book um, and of course the art cards are wonderful and i still do love them and then eventually i'll get them framed all together because i think it would look really really nice framed and then displayed the poster that comes with this is nice but of course the typical lrg fashion since it's all folded um there's definitely fold lines since it's not rolled up so that is one negative um and of course the packaging itself is very similar to like an oversized version of how the u.s games were released when the neo geo pocket came out i actually picked up a lot of my neo geo pocket uh, color games from Kicks Hobby Japan here in Seattle back when CY owned it. Um, definitely missed that store and miss CY, who's a great, uh, great friend and also a great proprietor as well. So that was those were just excellent times, and I, I wish I still had those. The only other piece, again, again missing are the manuals, and actually that's one of the nice things that the vinyl edition of the Picks and Love has. It actually has manuals and everything else. I believe I have to double check. Um, and if so, I'll send a screenshot uh, on this on this overview video as well of that um, to this. So that probably be the ultimate collection. Honestly, I'll probably never be opening that version even when they arrive. So these are your choices now. So the Pixel version you can still pick up uh, from their website. It is shipping from France, so shipping will be a bit more. And of course, since uh, it's going to be uh, in pounds, you're going to have to pay a little bit of a premium thanks to the dollar exchange ratio. The limited run games negative is you will pay a premium because now it is sold out. It was on pre-order for, I believe, 30 to 45 days way back when. And, of course, now that it's out, um, you can only pick it up uh, via third-party reseller. So you probably pay a premium there. But really, both versions are great for different reasons. Uh, the Ideally, it would have been great to have... Um, maybe a married case, a mixed case between the two and having maybe a version of the hard plastic, maybe a smaller version of the Neo Geo Pocket uh, US version case and maybe have like, for that case, keep it empty, but maybe have all, you know, all the game's manuals in that case. And then this version would be like the original where you could put the manual and then put the game and but also have room for the original Neo Geo Pocket game as well. Um, the better book, of course, is with the limited run games. The bigger, the better physical cartridge holder for me is the case is the one from Pix and Love. And of course, the art cards. I wish the art cards definitely trump the poster that's in the limited run games, only because there's fold lines in the limited run games poster, which of course can't be helped. The only other way you could get that without folding lines, it would, it would have to be ship rolled up in a in a cardboard tube. And of course, more than likely, that would cost more for shipping. So here is a wonderful overview, folks. Again, pick which one kind of speaks to you more. I am glad to have both, but for different reasons. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and have a happy spring. We're coming up on Easter weekend uh, here in the U.S.